there's been an interest in immunotherapy for some time in liver cancer. A lot of that is driven by the fact that the liver in and of itself uh, uh, has a certain inherent tolerance, immune tolerance. Uh, and when we're talking about immunotherapy, things like PD-1, pd one CTLA-4, it, it's a, in many ways it's about reversing that immune tolerance, at least immune tolerance to, to cancer. And in the liver, there's an innate tolerance because of the function of the liver, but also, uh, also this idea that liver cancer arises in an in inflammatory milieu, you know, the cirrhotic liver. And so there's been a lot of evidence that suggests that maybe an immune therapy approach such as PD-1 or pd one CTLA-4 might play a role. There was some early data with dendritic cell vaccines, uh, some work we had done with Tony Rebus at UCLA, uh, and then now with molecular therapeutics that target you know, the immune system. There has been some data generated with nivolumab. That data has been presented at the ASCO meeting last year. It was updated. And they're seeing some patients have very significant responses. They're seeing patients who have not only significant responses, but they're durable responses. So that's gained a lot of excitement in the field, and, and that has led to a few phase three studies. Uh, there's the phase three study of nivolumab versus serafinib for newly diagnosed advanced liver cancer untreated, as well as a second line study for patients who had had prior systemic therapy uh, being treated with pembrolizumab versus placebo. So, you know, we don't have the definitive answer. There's a lot of hope uh, and, and a lot of excitement.